You might have seen this safety case study where ActivePlan has supported PRP Architect Specialist Safety Case Team to help clients like Clarion ensure their buildings are safe. Surveys are a significant investment, so we want to ensure clients get the maximum value from each visit by providing surveyors with object libraries to select from and simple ways of using 360 photographs that less expensive colleagues back in the office can use to enhance the survey. We provide the surveyor with a schedule of the spaces they're to visit and their accessibility, standardised libraries of the types of products they're likely to find, standardised attributes and risks that require checking, and standardised libraries of recommended actions that address those standardised risks. When replacement products are purchased, the product library maps them to the project so the owner has a record of what was installed and where. The standardised libraries transform the initial survey into a baseline and subsequent surveys become audits against what was found the last time. This enables automated comparison reports of what's changed and the potential implications. Where a performance specification for an asset is available, that can be assigned and retained as part of the golden thread. So the selection of a replacement product can be informed by the original specification and not simply swapping out something that failed for another product that might be no better. Clarion used the 1960s Bexbourne Tower, which is a 12-storey concrete frame block in Orpington. PRP took a point cloud survey into Revit and created the geometric model that was read into ActivePlan's spatial database. Here ActivePlan is using a web service to Autodesk Forge to connect the asset data to the Revit model. And we've got an alternative UK service called 3D Repo, which is really powerful. When we click on the window, it automatically connects to the asset database, which holds the information about the individual instance, the asset type and the manufactured product, if we know it. To make it easy for lay people like me to navigate around the model, the experts can create many saved views I can click on and slice through the model and present just the information I need. In this case, the survey of the doors in this area hasn't been done yet, so the fields are waiting completion. All of this is designed to optimise the time spent by the surveyors when they're on site. We might know that the doors on this floor were replaced three years ago with Phoenix Nanyar Thermoset Composites. So those can go into the Clarion Network Product Library, which Travis Perkins can maintain and include alternatives for when they need replacing in the future. The asset database holds an image of the product, plus the option of storing a condition photo of each asset. We extracted the spatial coordinates from PRP's Revit model, so ActivePlan can present Kobe as a simple interactive floor plan that can be used to plan site visits. Here we identify a dry riser. We can drill into the detail where we see the placeholders for the survey results. The rune tags come through from Revit and are used to tie everything together, including asset schedules, and we can use 360 photos to locate those assets to the images and verify what's been installed. Is it still there and what's its condition? The asset library is tied back to the product library, 
creating a very simple interface to the digital o &M. We can also find things via schedules and here we select window units and drill into the types that were installed. It records that they were installed in 1995 and had a 40 year expected life so we can plan to replace them over the next 10 to 15 years. When we look at the door schedule we can see that some of the types have already been mapped against manufacturers products. In this case Phoenix which has already been used and is in the product library along with any related documents like test certificates or PDF manuals. Kobe allows us to group together spaces that make up an apartment so we can get a list of the 10 spaces that make up flat 5 or highlight them on a floor plan which a surveyor might need to arrange access. So if you're trying to work out how you can use BIM cost effectively on your existing buildings we can certainly help. The 3D is certainly very useful but fire brigades have told us that they prefer a simple accurate plan. Well, as you've seen, Active Plan covers all eventualities, schedules, floor plans, 360 photographs and full 3D models. Give us a ring, drop us an email or you can connect with me over LinkedIn.